he explained the meaning behind the Star of David, which is the triangles, the male and the female triangle that come together as one. This is known as the Star of Divide, which is the moon and the sun, or the male and the female, which is why it's known as a hexagram or a sexagram. And of course, this star or the hexagram or the hexagon represents the sixth planet, which is Saturn, the god Saturn L, which is why Saturday is the sixth day of the week. And actually, the six is the 12, which represents the 12 houses of the Zodiac, which is owned by Saturn L. So King David, or King Divide, has a son named King Solomon. And his symbol is the symbol of the Seal of Solomon, which is the Seal of Saturn, the Golden Fertility God. And the Seal of Solomon, which is the Star of Divide, the male and the female of the Sun and the Moon, is the true etymology meaning behind Solomon, which is the Soul, which is the Sun, and the Mon, which is the Moon. Which is exactly why King Solomon has his twin pillars. So you see the twin pillars are the moon and the sun, or the male and the female, which is why the house of David, or the house of Solomon, is the house of sex, the male entering the female. And you'll find the same sex magic in the Kabbalah. So now you know exactly why it's called the Tree of Life. Like the sex magic of Adam and Eve and the Tree of Life. So now you will understand why Washington DC is laid out exactly like King Solomon's Temple, which is the symbolic representation of the male entering the female, which is sex magic. So this is why we have the obelisk which is the phallic bull penis, which is why it's shaped like a bull penis and not a human penis. So this is why you'll see the phallic bull penis that enters the waters of the slit of the goddess or the female, which is sex magic. It's set up exactly like Solomon's temple. So when you're standing there, you're looking at the bull penis that enters inside of the female. And this is exactly why you'll see them shooting fireworks up into the air. A macrocosm, microcosm, sex magic with the universe. And of course, the universe is named after the uterus of the female goddess, which is the shape of the bull, which is why you will find the minotaur of the bull in the mid L of her labyrinth, which is why we call it the Milky Way. So when you take a look at the symbolism in America, like the seal, the state seal, you'll notice the Star of David, or the Star of Divide, which is the sexagram, which is why the Illuminati symbol shows you the male triangle entering the female circle. So now you know why we have the Bible, which is the two pillars of the red and the blue, the sun and the moon, the old year and the new year, the winter and the summer, the male and the female, which is exactly why the Bible even shows you the red and the blue. And you'll find the same symbolism with the Freemasons, with the twin pillars and the black and the white, which is the red and the blue. And this is exactly why their symbol is the sexagram or the star of divide. And you'll notice that the Freemasonic color is blue, which is exactly why all the Masonic lodges are known as a blue And you'll notice that the Freemasonic color is blue, which is exactly why all the Masonic lodges are known as a blue lodge or the blue log, the blue pillar. And you'll notice that the blue flag of Israel, 
has the twin pillars. Exactly like this picture from Israel that shows the twin pillars and the pyramid. And you'll notice that these two, or these three pillars, hold the same symbolism. Which is exactly why the Freemasonic symbol of the G and the Masonic compass and square makes the sexagram in the middle. Exactly like King Solomon's temple, which is between the two pillars, the sex magic that lies within the mid L. So like I said, you'll see the twin pillar or the bipillar bipolar symbolism throughout the world. And the two pillars create and balance themselves from the three pillars, which is why you'll often find the symbolism of the third pillar in the middle. From sex creates the three. Notice the third pillar in the middle is blue, just like the tarot card. So you see the three pillars represent the Sin, the Aleph, and the Mem, which is the Hebrew letters for fire, air, and water. The fire is the male, the water is the female, and the Aleph is the air, as in you can feel the romance in the air because they're having sex. You see, the water molecule is not clear, actually, at all. The water molecule reflects the light of blue, which is why our oceans and our sky is blue. So the blue water represents the sacred waters of the female, the sacred goddess, or the god of ice. And the red, hot, throbbing, pulsating fire is the sacred fire of God, which is the sacred red pillar of fire, which is the penis. Which is why the Hebrew alphabet explains the same story. The Aleph is the male and the B is the female. And the L is the male and the M is the female. Which is why the letter M looks like the water, the waves of the water or the female water. Which is why many words of women begin with the letter M, like mom, mother, and Mary. So you see, this is why one of the pillars of Solomon's temple was known as Jachin, or Yachin, or Yakin, the Jack. And the B is the female tower. And you see here the horned one next to the J, and the female next to the B pillar. So like I said before, the World Trade Center symbolism of the Twin Towers is the male and the female towers. You see, they are standing next to one another. They are facing one another. So they are creating a friction or they are opposing one another, the two sides, which is why they must come together and unite as one. There can only be one winner. You see, each tower is made of three levels. Three and three make six, or sex in Latin. Now, the sexagram is the symbol of the Star of David. So the twin towers that we're looking at is the symbolism of the manifestation of the Star of David, or the Star of Divide. It is the male and the female towers. Now, they came together as one, and this is why we have the symbolism of 9-11, or 7-11. And so they united the towers as one. So this is why the Illuminati manifested the principle of duality, the polar aspects of negative and positive, which is why they had the 11, or the L, even, the equal. It is the dualistic nature of one and one. So it was on Tuesday, one one, and the 11th day. It also has the two towers, and it has 110 stories. Again, the two, or the one one. The AA also equals 11, or one one. And then we have flight 11. We have 111 days till the end of the year. So you see the dualistic principle they were trying to invoke.